In urban areas of sub-Saharan Africa, the majority of toilets are not connected to a sewer. Worldwide, 2.7 billion people currently rely on different types of on-site sanitation technologies, such as pit latrines and septic tanks. If managed properly, on-site sanitation technologies can provide adequate access to sanitation and are more affordable than conventional sewer-based solutions that are energy and resource intensive. However, in poor urban areas, toilets are often shared by too many people. This results in filthy and disgusting conditions. Typically, there is also no management in place for the fecal sludge that accumulates, and this results in it being directly dumped into the urban environment. Adequate sanitation can only be fulfilled with management of the entire service chain, including safe access to clean toilets, collection and transport of accumulated fecal sludge, followed by treatment and some form of safe end-use or disposal. The research findings of UACT and FAME together have identified innovative solutions to increase access to sanitation at the household and community level. Shared sanitation facilities can provide adequate sanitation if the maximum number of households is set to ensure clean and usable toilets. Considering cleanliness, UACT research has identified that up to four households can actually share a toilet while maintaining it in an acceptably clean and functional manner. Affordability of household-level services could be increased through revenues from resource recovery. In addition to use as a soil amendment, fecal sludge has other potential end uses. These are as a solid industrial fuel, biogas from anaerobic digestion, protein for animal feed from larvae used in treatment. FAME also demonstrated that the calorific value of fecal sludge, which is a measure of its fuel potential, is comparable to other biofuels that are currently being used. And it found that the revenues from this end use could be significantly greater than its use as a soil conditioner. The FAME project designed and constructed pilot-scale kilns for brick production in Kampala and waste oil regeneration in Dakar. In both kilns, the temperatures achieved by using dried fecal sludge met industry's requirements. Industries have expressed great interest in this alternative fuel. Instead of only considering it as a waste stream that needs to be managed, fecal sludge can be viewed for its impact towards a financially sustainable sanitation service chain.